Hello everybody, and welcome back to Yarl Chris Reading Journal Simulator. Um, in the last episode, we started our fancy little quests on our way through Riel. It is the cause, it is like the last thing we're going to be doing. And in this episode, we're just going to continue it. And I was on my way out of Riel, but then all of this stuff started happening. So, let's handle it and get on out of here. Teldrin, you with me? Eh, I don't know where he went. He's somewhere, but he's not here. That's where my creaky chair just gets creakier by the day. Oh, Vigilance of Stendar. Okay. Oh, well. Cooked Brook Bass. Oh, yeah, he just ran off. A Vigilant Forcer. See, this is what I was talking about. Ooh, and a new crossbow. Torn Newt. In the shade of Velothi, where rivers run black, shore stone at our feet, white shore at our back. Windhelm on our shoulders, beyond the fair night. Before the dawn rises, red scars bleed the light. Vigil's orders. The vigil is the last line of defense between light and darkness. If the defiler has managed to open the gate, then we are bound by Stendar not to let a single abomination pass through it. Find the gate and secure it. Whatever it takes, we must hold the line. And here we have Vigil Enforcer armor, which is pretty cool. So here is a journal. As I said, journal reading simulator. Why do they have to be so long? I feel like you could definitely summarize it. Optional alert, okay. Our spies in the cities have reported hearing whispers of the mythic dawn amongst the populace. Though the last of those abominations were slain hundreds of years ago, we must take all reports seriously and stay alert. Word from our agents in Cyrodiil say that a band of mysterious travelers descended upon Bruma where they asked a well-known researcher many questions about the Aeliads. The ruins of Riel specifically, they also asked about Great Welkin Stones, which haven't been seen for hundreds of years. I'm sending a few scouts to the Pale Pass to keep an eye on things. If there's a, if there is darkness at play, the light of the vigil will find it. Second last seed, the same group of questionable travelers was seen traversing the Pale Pass in the Bruma again. This time, under the cover of night, they were followed, but they were lost in shadow. Our agent set up a blockade to stop and question all who passed, but the group was not seen traveling through there again. If they did return to Skyrim, they would have to do so through the Jarl Mountains by moonlight. Stendar have mercy on anyone lost among those jagged slopes in the darkness. The researcher in Bruma has gone missing, and I must assume it was at the hand of this mysterious travelers. If the rumors of the Mythic Dawn are true, Stendar can help us if, they're, if they get their hands on a great Welkin stone. What could they possibly need such a powerful artifact for? I have dispatched agents and spies to every corner of Skyrim to inquire amongst the townsfolk and track anyone who is remotely suspicious. We've begun following a man named Scorvild. We believe he may be a danger worshipper and possibly a member of the Mythic Dawn. His brother was recently reported missing, along with numerous others in the same time frame. We will follow his movements closely. After several weeks of observing various suspects, we decided to capture the, an individual believed to be a high-ranking member of the Mythic Dawn. She was clothed plainly and kept the guise of a merchant by day. We searched her quarters and found red robes bearing the sun symbol of Mehrun Stagon. We also found a journal which claims that an Oblivion Gate has been reforged and attempts to open it are underway. I've decided to call for reinforcements. What I need, if what I read is true, the Vigil of Sender alone may not be enough to stop what is unfolding. This mythic Don priest would not yield any information and died during interrogation. It was a slow death, but the Vigil has no mercy for danger worshippers. Can the power of a great Welkin stone be corrupted and used for their twisted purpose? Then cannot hap this cannot happen, we must find this Oblivion Gate. Within the journal was a torn page containing of the following. In the shade of the Velothi were rivers from- Okay, yeah, we already read that. This could be a clue as to their location. I will send someone to investigate while I prepare a small regiment and determine her next move. Three of my agents were, who were observing suspects went missing overnight. I believe they have been captured by the Mythic Dawn. Stendar have mercy upon them. We should have been more careful when capturing one of their priests, but we needed to act quickly. I have assembled a group to descend upon Riel. We must act now. We may be able to ambush the Daedra worshippers. Lastly, one of my scouts believes the riddle does indeed point to the location where the Mythic Dawn are hiding. We need to approach with caution, lest we be a numbered blessings of Stendar upon us. I just gotta love reading journals out loud to hundreds, well, probably not hundreds, this video will probably get a, you know, 60, 70 views, so, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed that, and if you're still watching at the 5 minute mark, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, 
Also, thank you to my patrons, James, Carrie, Haley. Um, you're all great. The vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Yes, you are very angry. And you don't seem to be dressed very warm. Though neither of them do. But at least that other dude have gloves. Had gloves. Champion's Rest. Hmm. Runevold Excavations. So, we're on our way. Here we go to get on our own. Going down the only road we're... I've ridden on. I don't know. Um, yes. Let's go find this spot. The Oblivion Gate. That's what, that's the point I'm trying to get to. The Oblivion Gate. Never should have come oh, and here's a Mythic Dawn Guard. Mythic Dawn Guard, my Mythic Dawn Guard. Not a member of the Mythical Dawn Guard, that is me. But a member of the Mythic Dawn Guard. Red Scar Cavern. I mean, I have to, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, at least I sent him in the fire, so... Teldrin's fire, you know, doesn't burn him too bad. But I feel like it's really dark in here. Honestly, on my other screen, though, it doesn't look dark, so... Who knows? I mean, obviously, it's going to be kind of dark, because that's supposed to be the room. And off with their head. What a mighty chop. Right through that lizard's thick scales. Hmm. There's just a head floating around in the water next to that dead body now. I love how they just didn't give themselves a way to traverse this without, like, wading through water. Who would want to wade through water like that? I had a teacher in the sixth grade named Mr. Wade. I just remembered that. He was such a troll. So, like, he told us one day that he'd bring us in brownies. And the next day, he came in with a box full of brown, like, um, construction paper cut into the shape of E's. And that was, that was a, we felt very defeat, defeated that day. It was, that was tough. And then he retired right after my year. My class had a lot of teachers retire right after us. Coincidence? I think not. What? Time to end this. I missed, oh god. Miss me with that. Oh. I wish she like landed on her friend and it killed them. No one less an orc. Oh really? <laughs> love. I just love the post-death, be careful. It's like, ah, oh, yes, I am sorry. I didn't mean to defile your corpse so hard. It is so red in here. That's what's wrong with it. It's like just the reddest location I've ever been in. Other than Redwater Den. But I don't think we visited that in this playthrough. So, yeah, there's that. Into Mythic Dawn Temple. Probably should have picked up a key off one of their dead bodies, but oh well, it's just an adept level lock, and I'm the best Skyrim player ever. So, you know, one try. Oh my god. Defeat Vonos. 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 Is someone there? Soon. Not soon. Not so soon. Some would say it was too soon. Vanos is a baby back. Ooh. Unfortunately, he completed his little... His little thing. Started the consequences. The consequences. Retrieve Vanos' journal. How fun. Another journal to read. I know it's the only way they can tell story through this, but... Oh my god. What did he have? A Daedric dagger? Daedric? No way. I 
I am not reading all of this. I, I mean, I've read this before on the channel, so if you really want to see it, you really want to read it, or have it be read to you, go for it. But I'm going to just skip through. You can pause if you want to. But that is 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20 pages. That's... I am sorry, but that, that would take way too long. I do not want this entire video to just be me reading. Yeah, I met him once before. Or maybe that was my prior life. Anyways, into the Deadlands. I mean, basically, Vanos' journal is just him, like, talking about the lead-up to all of this. Defeat the Dramora Valkinas. Here we are in the Deadlands. So there's one, two, two of them. Okay. And a horse. Now let's go this way first. If I recall correctly, these guys can be quite tough. But then again, oh, yep, they stepped in lava and died. I remember it being tough, but I was also on a different character who wasn't so extremely overpowered. Let's um, bust out that Nordic crossbow that we got. And take a shot. Huzzah! That's all I wish to do. Look at the way we were just holding that. Valken meth hats. Methods. I think he just does meth. Or he does mentats. He was the easiest stinking person I've ever beat. Retrieve torment. I mean, I already do reading so much. Maybe it's a... I almost called it a book. It's a sword. Oh, did I actually equip it? I did not mean to do that. Now let's continue on our way over here. So yes, I did read every single one of those books in the previous time I played through the calls on this channel, which is just a three-part little mini-series, so if you really crave and fiend for me to just read for you for 20 whole pages, that's the best place to go, I guess. Whoa, what was that? Staff of Judgment. It looks cool. It's like a steel staff. Or silver staff. I don't know which. Okay, come on. There we go. I wonder how quickly the lava would kill us. Intrusive thoughts. Um. Honestly, not as fast as I thought it would. So, that's cool. I mean, it instantaneously killed that Dramora, so I kind of just expected the same, but obviously not. I mean, I could actually just swim across, like, right here. Or I could just whirlwind sprint across right here. What? Ah! Oh, look at Teldrin. He's got magic, too. Oh, it's that Daedric horse. With, a uh, someone tending to it. Hey, don't hit my horse. I 
It attacked me. Scourge. Scourge. Someone day dropped to level 36 or sent back to oblivion. Wait, that's it? Turn the Tamriel now? Oh, Conjure Daedric Horse. So it's like Arvac, but that's just that horse that we just saw. I don't think that's the only unique... Um, what do you call it? Spell in here, either. But I'm not sure. Oh, I kind of jumped right into that one, didn't I? Who is screaming? Oh, it's invisible. It's still invisible. Oh my god, Teldrin just called that thing a racial slur. Or something. I don't know. Is it really? It's not like that. It's more of just a. It's like calling someone something else that's derogatory, but not derogatory because of who they are. Just because they suck, I guess. Is the best way to describe it? I, I'm not really sure. I am not an expert on those sorts of things. You know, I just kind of avoid them all when I can. Hey, get back here. Tremora Caitlyn. Aha, you are defeated. Loser. I have murderedly earled you. Well, I'm just tanking this poison. Oh my god, what just happened? Oh, this is also like the only place that you can get some of these ingredients, I think. Oh, look, it's soul fishers, but it's not souls. Ooh, spittle sticks. I had to collect some of those in Worm's Tooth. Worm's Tooth. Worm's Tooth, Worm's Tooth. Dragon's Tooth. Drow Staff of Judgment. That is cool. 50 points of damage per second. I'm taking that just because. Fleshy pod. I thought I said fishy pod for a second. I don't know why I decided to make my way to Soul Stein to seek my. Hey, it worked out apparently because you're in here in the plains of oblivion helping me eradicate baddies And not the good kind of baddies either the bad kind of baddies Okay, let's get out of here And the episodes probably gonna be pretty short because we defeated this so fast out to the temple what was that? Someone there Escape the cavern? Is it gonna explode or something? Or is it just because it's like an all out war in here? It's so red! Out me way! Luckily, I'm a level 55, so I have all sorts of stamina. -mina. The, the masculine urge to shout him off that. Okay. Looks like the bad is good now. You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any day. Cavort, Cahoot. Cohort. Okay, we're almost out. To Skyrim. Completed. That completed the quest. Wow, the consequences. That was quick. Oh wow. That's like the last episode, basically. Other than when we fight the Ebony Warrior. Okay, well. Huh. That's strange. That's a lot to unfold. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, 
make sure leave a like and make sure to subscribe so you can see what comes next with this channel um like thing oh my god i can't talk i'm so like flustered yet again thanks to my patrons james gary haley you guys are great i appreciate you and thank you to anybody else that has watched to this point somehow some way some reason over the course of an entire year um just legitimately thank you and as always i hope to see you in the next one goodbye